Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, April 11th, 2017 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Orlando, Florida. Jan Hirsch of German security company Securi found an interesting vulnerability in TP-Link 3G modems slash routers. These are devices that you use to connect your systems to 3G or LTE networks. And the interesting part here is that if this particular device receives a specific SMS message, it will respond with the admin username and password. Apparently, this was a left behind debug feature. So of course, these modems are designed to receive SMS messages and yes, typically use a little web interface or so to read them or send messages yourself. There have been similar vulnerabilities like this in the past usually actually one vulnerability that often does show up in these SMS connected devices is also the ability to update the firmware with random URLs that are being passed to the device. Mr. Hirsch found a number of additional vulnerabilities that are listed in the article. For example, a StarTech Wi-Fi router that uses a hard-coded admin password so the user can't change it. I think that's almost a standard feature in devices like this. And he also, and that's sort of almost the main point of the article, complains that it's very difficult and fruitless in many cases to actually report these vulnerabilities to the vendor. And Google Maps is in the headlines again. If you remember a couple years ago, one thing that often happened with Google Maps was that people were attaching fake phone numbers to listings like, for example, FBI offices or IRS offices. So if someone looked them up via Google Maps, they then received the wrong phone number. Well, uh, since then, Google has uh, tightened up the verification process process somewhat, but obviously not well enough. And recently, according to Bleeping Computer, a number of listings had fake links to websites not related to the respective company. Now, Google, for example, does send a verification postcard to the business's address. However, turns out that thousands of businesses all were linked to the same mailbox and that mailbox apparently was controlled by the attacker and allowed them to set up these fake listings. Google has already worked on this problem and further tightened up the verification process. They say they have reduced the fake listings by almost 70% so far. And Apple released an update for Apple Music for Android that fixed a vulnerability that was originally reported back in August of last year. Apple's application did not verify SSL certificates at all, making man-in-the-middle attacks, of course, pretty trivial. So if you are using Apple Music on Android, update to version 2 of the software, which was released a few days ago. And we got a couple more details about the attack against the Dallas Tornado sirens, which were set off by an attacker last weekend. Well, it turns out that they actually did not compromise a computer system, apparently, but used a radio-based system in order to trigger the alert. There have been uh, some reasonably well-documented vulnerabilities in these kind of systems that rely on remote activation via a radio signal. The radio signals are often not authenticated nor encrypted, so pretty easy to spoof them once you know what signal to send. Additional little detail, in order to shut off the sirens, they actually had to go to each siren individually with a person to have it shut down manually. And just a reminder regarding tomorrow's Windows patch Tuesday, Windows Vista will reach end of life 
tomorrow so this will be the last time that you will see patches for windows vista probably less of an issue than it was for windows xp and NATO finally discovered and released a paper that IPv6 can be used as a covert channel. In particular, IPv6 tunnels often are escaping standard detection methods. Of course, myself and others have been talking about this for many years. Well, uh, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.